nice to see such a beautiful, well-dressed crowd. Um, uh, I've seen wonderful beaded slippers, uh, many pairs which I would like to add to the collection. So please be careful on the way out. You may find that uh, some of your uh, robes and jewelry might uh, make lovely museum additions. But uh, thank you all for coming. Um, it's lovely to see everyone uh, dressed up so wonderfully to celebrate this occasion. Uh, the launch of an important exhibition, Sarong Kabaya. Uh, the, the show is important for a number of reasons. First of all, it's an important connection with Singapore and regional history, as you all know. You will see things that are astonishingly beautiful and evocative of the past and historical periods important to us all. Uh, it's also an important show in terms of presenting important new um, a new historic vision of the sources of the Sarong and the Kabaya, a new way of looking at Peranakan culture generally, something that is connected to many distant cultures and many periods uh, in the history not only of Asia, but also of the Near East and of Europe. And I think one of the most important uh, learning experiences about the show, uh, as it's been put together by the curators, is that nothing is ever really stable or pure. Things change, things are influenced by other cultures. Uh, dress in particular is permeable. It is influenced by other, uh, other cultures and by other ideas as, uh, as these things uh, carry around the world. And whether it's Indian trade textiles crossing the ocean uh, in the 16th century or lace from Holland added to uh, Kabaya's uh, in the 19th and 20th century, or even Chinese motifs making their way into the sarong and the kabaya. We find here a wonderful mixture, a fusion of cultures that says a lot about uh, who we are here and how uh, people have interacted over time around the world. So uh, we're very grateful to Peter Lee, the guest curator of the exhibition, who has poured years of research and energy not only into building an important collection of textiles, but in giving us a new historic context for understanding how this uh, wonderful uh, local fashion came into being. Uh, he worked very closely with Jackie Jung, our curator of the Peranakan Museum, in putting the show together, and with a wonderful team here at the museum and at the Asian Civilizations Museum, put together the design, the educational programs, the family events that will uh, help us uh, reach out to new communities in November and in uh, early uh, 2012. Things to look forward to. I also need to thank Hui Sim Tan, who, was, uh, who played an important role in putting together the initial stages of the exhibition, and also to Priscilla Shaw, the former chairman of the ACM, the Asian Civilizations Museum, um, who I'm told really had the first idea of, uh, in talking to Peter Lee, of putting together a show that might explore the historical background of the Sarang Kabai. So thanks all to, uh, to these people. Um, I'd also like to thank Mr. and Mrs. Lee Kip Lee, uh, a major uh, lender to the exhibition, and we'll hear more about their generosity um, in a few minutes, um, as well as important lenders to the exhibition from home and abroad, the Khamenei Museum in The Hague, uh, the Museum Volkerkunde in Leiden, and the Tropen Museum in Amsterdam. These are three important Dutch repositories of uh, Indonesian and Malaysian textiles, formed, of course, when the Dutch were prominent in the region, especially in the 19th century. And to another important collector who has been uh, uh, generous to us, the Hall of Phoenix and Peony. So thanks to all of our lenders as well. Um, I'm going to conclude with a slightly personal note, because I'm struck by the emotional depth that comes from a fashion that is so connected to the history of, of this nation state, Singapore. And as a foreigner, I suppose um, I'm particularly interested to see how things change over time in terms of their identity with, uh, with the nation and with the culture. And I'm filled with a sense of nostalgia about uh, the Sarong Kabaya because it is something that was part of the daily life of uh, the whole community and remains uh, the daily life in, in, our, in our region, but it's something that is a little bit slipping away. 
And I'm greatly uh, excited by seeing so many sarongs and kabayas here um, because it's a way of keeping this marvelous tradition alive. And nostalgia is a longing for the past, and it's also sadness that something is slowly disappearing. And I think it's really up to cultural institutions like the Peranakan Museum to keep these things alive in our memories and on special occasions bring them out in actuality. And we have our own opinions, and I, I, I know many of the people here have their own way of wearing and presenting um, their favorite fashion and their favorite dress. And it's just a delight to have you here as part of the community to make this show um, part of our living history and our living culture. So I want to thank you for coming and for getting dressed up so nicely.